Hey there, in this video, we will go through a chapter of social linguistics, which is variation and change. Before going in detail, we will have a glance over the outline which we are going to discuss in this video. We will define variation and change briefly. After this, we will cover the importance of studying variation and changes. After this, we will cover regional variation as definition and some of the factors which influences regional variations such as geography and physical barrier, historical migration and settlement patterns, contact with other languages and cultures, then we will cover the examples of regional variations in different languages, and which number one is dialects and accents, vocabulary and lexical variation, and lastly, grammar and syntactic differences. Then we will go towards the applications of regional variation, which is identity and cultural diversity, language attitudes and perception. After this, we will go through the region, regional variation at types with examples such as accent, dialect, lexical and grammatical variations. And then we will relate linguistic variations to social variation with example. And lastly, we will conclude the discussion. <laughs> Variation and change. These are two different terms. In linguistics, variation refers to the differences that exist in language usage across different individuals, communities, or region. And it encompasses diverse aspects such as pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, and syntactic structures. On the other hand, what is change? Change refers to the evolution are transformation of language over time which leads to the differences between earlier and later stages of a language now what is the importance of studying these variations and changes studying variation and change in linguistics helps us to understand how languages develop adopt and spread and it provides us insights into the social, historical, and cultural factors that shape languages. Additionally, it helps linguists to analyze language patterns and identify linguistic universals and make predictions about future language developments. Now let's discuss regional variation. What is regional variation? Regional variation refers to the differences in language usage that occurs across different geographical regions or areas. And these variations can manifest in various linguistic features, including pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar, among others. And there are some factors influencing these regional variations. What are these factors? This can be geographical or physical barrier. This can be historical migration and settlement patterns. And this can be contact with other languages and cultures. Let's discuss these factors in detail. Geographical and physical barrier. Geographic factors such as mountain, rivers, or other physical barriers can isolate communities from one another which leads to the linguistic differences over time for example there are two communities of the same language or dialect but in between them there are some physical or geographical barriers in the shape of mountains or rivers which are stopping them to be in contact with each other which can lead to Linguistic differences over time, which can be called regional variation. We can take the example of Appalachian Mountain in the United States, which have contributed to the development of distinct regional dialects. Okay, another one is historical migration and settlement patterns. You know, when people migrate and settle in new regions, they actually bring languages with them. And over time, these communities may develop unique linguistic characteristics which are influenced by their original language and interactions with other languages in the new region, which may lead to 
Another kind of regional variations are regional dialects. Another one is contact with other languages and cultures. Regions that have a history of contact with different languages and cultures tend to exhibit greater linguistic variations like language borrowing, code switching, and other forms of language contact can contribute to the emergence of regional variations. So these were the three main factors that can influence the regional variation or linguistic variations. Now we will go for the examples of regional variations in different languages. Number one is dialect and accent. In English, Regional variations are evident in different dialects and accents. For example, in the Southern American English dialect, which is spoken in the Southern United States, this dialect exhibits distinct pronunciation features and vocabulary compared to other dialects, like New York English or British English. So how or why the Southern American English dialect possesses or includes some of the features of other dialects of English. These can be because of contact of other languages, these languages with each other, which may be cultural contact, it can be migration and settlement, or it can be any other factors or cause of these features which are include in this dialect another one is vocabulary and lexical variation you know regional variations can also be observed in vocabulary choices for example the word poop is commonly used in the midwest united states to refer a carbonated beverage while soda is the preferred term in other regions Another one is grammar and syntactic differences. Regional variations can involve differences in grammar and sentence structure. For example, in some dialects of African American vernacular English, the habitual B has the construction which is used as he be working to express an ongoing or repeated action. Whereas, in standard English, the present tense is would be used. For example, he is working. Here are some of the implications of regional variations. Number one is identity and cultural diversity. Regional variation in language contributes to the richness and diversity of cultures and identities within a region. And they can foster a sense of belonging in a community among speakers of a particular regional variety. Another one is language attitudes and perceptions. Language variations may be associated with social stereotypes or prejudice, and certain regional accents or dialects can be stigmatized or viewed as less prestigious which leads to the language attitudes that affects individuals' perceptions and interactions. By studying regional variations, linguists can gain a deeper understanding of language as a dynamic and evolving system which reflects the complex interplay of geography, history, culture, and social factors. Now we will discuss regional variation, its types and examples relating linguistic variation to social variation with examples. Social linguistics is a branch of linguistics that investigates how language varies and changes within a social content. And one of the key areas of study in social linguistics is the examination of regional variation, which explores how language use differs across different geographic areas. And in this content, regional variation refers to the linguistic differences that exist between speakers of a same language who live in different regions. Types of regional variation. As we come to its type, so firstly we will discuss accent. Accent refers to the way individuals pronounce words and produce sound in a particular language. For example, in English, there are variation in accents between speakers from London 
New York and Sydney. Secondly, we have dialect. Dialect refers to the variation in vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation within a language. For instance, we can see in the United States there are distant dialects, such as Southern dialect, New England dialect, the Appalachian dialect, each with its own unique linguistic features. Thirdly, we have lexical and grammatical variations. Lexical variation refers to differences in vocabulary choices across regions. For example, in the United Kingdom, the word lorry is used to commonly refer a large truck, while in the United States, the term truck is more commonly used. And grammatical variation pertains to the differences in grammar usage across regions. For example, in some of the English dialects, the double negation is and I don't know nothing is used to convey negation while in standard English the phrase I don't know anything is considered to be correct grammatically. Now we will relate linguistic variation to social variation. Social linguistics also investigates how linguistic variation is related to social factors such as social class, age, ethnicity and gender. For example, William Neber, a prominent social linguist, conducted a study in New York City in the 1960s who was examining the relationship between linguistic variations and social factors. And his research focused on the production of post vocalic R or R sound, specifically in the words like car and card. And Labo found that the production of R varied across different social groups with higher class individuals being more likely to pronounce the R sound than the working class individuals. Here is Hudson's notable contribution as his exploration of the correlation between language variation and social stratification. And he argues that linguistic features often become markers of social identity and can reinforce or challenge existing social hierarchies. For example, Hudson discusses the phenomena of prestige dialects, which are associated with higher social status or power. Speakers of the prestige dialects often enjoy advantages in educational or professional setting. On the other hand, speakers of non-standard or stigmatized dialects may face social prejudice or discrimination. In conclusion, social linguistics investigates regional variations in language and explores how this variation relates to social factors. And regional variation can manifest in different accents, dialects, and lexical choices and grammatical structures across regions.